Jake and Max had been best friends since they were toddlers. They grew up next door to each other and spent countless hours playing together in the park or in each other's backyards. They had the kind of bond that only childhood friends could share, and they did everything together. When they started middle school, things began to change. Max was shorter than most of the other kids in their grade, and he didn't have the same interests as the popular crowd. He loved science and math, but most of the other kids were into sports and socializing. Max tried to make friends, but he struggled to find kids who shared his interests. One day, Max started to notice a group of boys who would make fun of him in the hallway. They would call him names and push him around. Max didn't understand why they were being mean to him, and he tried to ignore them. But the bullying didn't stop. Jake noticed that Max seemed down and asked him what was wrong. Max hesitated at first, but eventually opened up about what was happening. Jake was shocked and angry, but he didn't know how to help. The next day at school, Jake saw the bullies picking on Max again. He felt a surge of anger and courage, and he decided to do something about it. He walked up to Max and stood by his side, facing the bullies. The bullies were surprised by Jake's sudden appearance and backed off. Jake knew that he couldn't fight the bullies alone, so he decided to recruit other kids to join him. He talked to some of his classmates and explained what was happening to Max. Some of them were surprised and didn't know what to do, but others were willing to help. Together, Jake and his allies formed a plan. They would start a club at school called the Anti-Bullying Alliance, where students could talk about their experiences and learn how to stand up for themselves and others. The club was a huge success, and many students who had been bullied in the past felt empowered to speak up and make a change. Jake and Max became closer than ever before. They hung out more often, and Max felt supported and grateful to have a friend like Jake. Jake knew that he couldn't protect Max from all of the bullies in the world, but he could make sure that Max knew he wasn't alone. As the days went by, other students noticed how Jake and Max had become close friends. Some of them started to stand up to the bullies, too, and soon the bullying stopped altogether. Max felt proud of himself for overcoming his fears, and Jake felt proud of himself for helping his friend. Jake and his allies learned that being an ally and standing up for what's right can make a big difference. They continued to run the anti-bullying alliance throughout their time in middle school and high school, and they became known as the group of kids who made a positive impact on their school community. They showed that even the smallest actions can lead to big change, and that everyone has the power to be an ally.